also, I was thinking though, you know, uh, you, you came in, you reminded me of this, and I didn't mm -hmm. remember us. Didn't we start rehearsal together for that? Or you said you came in late. I came in, Lenora Nemitz had been Cheetah's understudy in New York and was going out with the First National Company and got a node on her vocal cord, and I was called in very quickly to go into rehearsal yeah. and, and go out. And I think that out. also could have put a, a dimmer on. He, he, was, mm. he kept trying to get Lenora to come, and she said, I'm sick. I can't. Right. What's up? Right. So, uh, so that could have had something to do with it. Um, before, before you tell us about your history, <laughs> tell a little story about running to, into him on the street uh, when he was on his way to oh, a dock. This is after I, I was married and, and uh, living in Texas. And I came back to do some benefit, like an actor's fund benefit with Charlie Strauss. And, mm. and I was staying at my my old roommate lived on 77th and 1st, Judy, and I was leaving her apartment and I bumped on 77th Street where Frank Pietri, <laughs> I always see him coming out of that building, right where the subway is, I bumped into Bobby and he said, I said, oh, and he said, Penny, what do you do? I thought, you know, and I said, oh, well, I'm just visiting. I, I'm not living here. And he said, walk with me. And I said, why? What's it? Oh, I was bad. So we were walking around the entire avenue for, you know, first, second, whatever, up and down 77th and 78th Street like three times because he didn't want to go to the doctor because he knew he was going to take all his blood and everything and he'd been a bad boy. So he said, if you could just walk with me and talk with me, I said, okay, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I think I was coming home from the rehearsal. That was it, but, so that, that's what you're talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, well, that little boy charm. Very, yeah. very so uh, vulnerable. Very, uh, yeah. I remember talking to him when he was doing Star, and we were going to go out on that second tour of Chicago, mm -hmm. and him saying, oh, I think it's going to be bad, it's bad, they hate me, they hate me again. <laughs> I said, Bob, you know it's going to be brilliant, stop this, and of course it wasn't particularly, but to, to me, his brilliance was never recognized as a director. What he did as a director in films, to me, was never really recognized. I thought he was brilliant, what he did. Mm. But, um, anyway. Yeah. 